Hi guys, this is going to be a very quick and thorough guide on how to do the Mad King's Clock Tower. So first of all, I recommend going into your settings and going to change the double tap to evade setting and turning that off because you don't want to evade to your death. Also, I recommend zooming out by about three ticks from your hero. That way you're not zoomed in too much and you're not zoomed out too much and it's easier for you to see the obstacles coming up. I will be moving pretty quick here, so I do recommend slowing down the playback speed if you need to at certain points, and also I will be slowing down the video at certain points as well. This first part's pretty easy. Uh, most people don't really struggle with this part, so I don't feel like I need to explain much here. The only thing I do recommend is getting on this higher platform rather than the lower sprocket down there at the bottom. And then of course you really want to wait for these animations to fully load, because if you jump you'll fall through them. There are three chests that you can grab on the way up to the top of the clock tower. Here's one. You can grab it from the gear. You don't have to actually be on the block to grab it. Then with this next chest, you have to be very quick because if you're not, you will fall or you'll get consumed by the greenness. So you need to hurry up, grab it, and then move. Even though it looks like you're going to die right there, if you get a few hands on you, it's actually not going to do anything to you. So just keep moving as quickly as possible. And with this gear, you want to land right on the edge of the teeth. If you land too far to the left, you'll slide down. And if you land too far to the right, your feet will get caught in the teeth. Then right here, you're going to run all the way up the beam and then jump down onto the sprocket below where your last chest will be on your way up to the clock tower. And now that you're at the top of the clock tower, you just have to wait for the clock tower to make one more full rotation, and then the clock will break, and then you can jump in. For every three times that you complete the clock tower, you'll get an extra three trick-or-treat bags, and then when you complete the clock tower, you also get a chest, which will give you five. And after one full run, you should have about 12 or 13 trick-or-treat bags. Now for your next run, the chests might not be refreshed, so you might not be able to open them, so you're probably only going to get about 5 trick or treat bags when you make it to the end. And one more bit of advice, like I was saying earlier, um, when you're waiting for the animations to load up, wait for them to load fully, because if not, you will fall through just like that, and you will lose. And in all of the 15 minutes that you have to run this, you should be able to win at the max 5 times, which should yield around 50 trick-or-treat bags. This, in my opinion, is one of the best ways to farm trick-or-treat bags and get candy corn. It yields about 50 trick-or-treat bags every 15 minutes. And I just want to say this does take a lot of practice. It's not easy at first, so you just got to keep practicing. You'll get good eventually, I promise you, and it's definitely worth it in the end. So just don't give up. You got this. Anyway, I hope this helps, and good luck.